All right, so we did some of the simple composition problems, composing at various numbers and not considering domain whatsoever. But we still have to tackle these problems like 30 in section 1.6 on page 133 where we do have to consider domain. In 30, we have f of x being defined as x over x minus 1, and g being defined as 2 plus 5x. We're asked to find f of g of x and its domain. So, in order to find the domain, we do need to know what the domain of f and g happen to be. g, there's no square roots, no denominators, so there's no restrictions. x can be anything. Any value of x is acceptable. But here, we do have something that could go wrong. We could have a zero in the denominator. And the only way the denominator could be zero is if x is equal to one. And since we don't want that to happen, we don't want a zero denominator, we say that x can't be one. Because if x is not one, then this denominator will not be zero. So we need that to find domain. But to find f of g, we just need a definition of f and g. We can merely evaluate this by looking at it as f of g of x. First, x goes into g. Then, the result of g goes into f. So what is g of x? Well, g of x is 2 plus 5x. Now, we're looking at f of 2 plus 5x. So wherever we see x in the definition for f, we're going to replace every occurrence of x with 2 plus 5x. So there's one on the top that gets replaced with 2 plus 5x, and there's one more x on the bottom that needs to be replaced by 2 plus 5x. So when we look at this, that's just 2 plus 5x on top. Here the only like terms are 2 and minus 1, and 2 minus 1 is just 1. And there's nothing left to do. So this is going to be our formula for, for the composition of f and g. So if we look at the domain, there was nothing wrong with, you know, we could plug anything, any x value we wanted to into g, and nothing would go wrong. But we can't plug 1 into f. So we don't want what's going into f, g of x, we don't want the input of f to be 1. We don't want g of x to be equal to 1. Well, g of x is 2 plus 5x. And so if we solve this for x, we'll find out all the x values that make g of x 1, and so we'll find out all the x values that we don't want. So in this case, if we subtract 2 from both sides, we'll get 5x equals minus 1, and then dividing by 5, 
we get x equals minus 1 over 5. So we don't want this to happen. So the domain of f of g is that x cannot be minus one-fifth because if x is minus one-fifth working backwards we're going to get g equaling one which means we're going to plug one into f and that's a problem x can't take one as an input we have a problem with that so that's avoided so long as x is not equal to minus one-fifth. And to rewrite our expression here, we get that, what do we have? We had two plus five x over one plus five x. Ah, damn pen ran out of ink. Um, and all of this is our answer.